When obstacles are put in your way, you have two options of how to deal with them. On one end, you can use those obstacles as an excuse for why you can't progress or why you can't succeed. Alternatively, you can say, screw that. You can use those obstacles as a source of motivation to overcome, to do better, to do just that, to succeed. This right here is 385 pounds on the squat for four sets of three, and this is something I was very happy with. Personally, I'm dealing with uh, recovering from an injury, which unfortunately is not recovering as quickly as I would have liked. I basically have to put veterinary grade cream for pain relief onto my hip the majority of my workouts. That way I can just get through it without, you know, a very uncomfortable pain. Um, you know, without significantly disrupting my form. So I'm dealing with that injury recovery. And you might also notice that this isn't my home gym. I've been away for school doing a rotation and I'm stuck training in this commercial gym which as you can tell it's a pretty decent walkout with 385 pounds on my back. So you know I could use those as excuses to take it easy, you know, go a little bit lighter. But I'm not here to make excuses. I'm here to make progress. The bottom line is, you're never going to have a perfect training environment. You're never going to feel 110%. But you have to give it 110% every single workout, regardless of what else is going on. You know, you can't let those things get into your head that you're maybe a little injured or, you know, it's not your home gym or whatever the case is. You have to just go in there and give it 110% and plan on making progress every single training session. Now, of course that's not gonna happen, but you need to go in there with the attitude that you're gonna kill it every single training session. The next clip you're about to see is me deadlifting 510 pounds for sets of three. If you watched my previous training video, you'll know that the sumo deadlift has been feeling really off for me lately, which is really concerning considering it's my best lift. Now, as I mentioned before, the key is you just need to go into every workout with the mentality that you're gonna kill it. And that's exactly what I did in this case. You're about to see a comparison from my training 10 days prior, which I posted on the channel. In that case, I was only able to get singles with 495. You'll notice here with my 510 pull that I was able to get triples with, I locked it out before 495 even gets to my knees. And nothing else was different, you know? The bottom line is I just went in there with the mentality that I wasn't going to let those previous bad lifts dictate how my future lifts were going to be. I went in there with the intention of hitting everything that was programmed, and that's exactly what happened. When it comes to lifting, I think often we focus all too much on the physical aspect. You know, are my muscles growing? Am I lifting more weight? Things like that. When in reality, we really should be focusing a lot on the mental aspect, because the mental game makes such a difference. The attitude that you go into a training session with, the thoughts that you have, they make all the difference. Something to keep in mind is that we're all here to make progress. We're not here to make excuses. So the next time you go into a training session and you're giving excuses to yourself, ask, are these legitimate excuses or are you just hindering your progress? I hope you guys liked this video, if you did, be sure to give it a like, and if you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button. I will catch you guys in the next video.